Really? Did you see Dark and Darker devs got raided by police in search of stolen code? That sounds like a made-up headline. What, what were they doing? Flipping over mattresses looking for hidden code? What? So, Iron Mace. Oh, yep, here it is. Dark and Darker developers office searched by police over theft allegations. Interesting. So they've confis they've confiscated some material that Nexon claims proves Dark and Darker was created with stolen code and assets, which is stolen code can't fully uh, opine on, but the assets, literally some of the assets in Dark and Darker are just stock assets. Not like Nexon owned assets, at least none that I noticed. Not that I'm a big Nexon guy. But, like, I recognize a lot of the assets just from general games we've played before. It's literal just stock assets. This will be interesting. I'll have to keep up with this. He's a tier one onion. And the resub crane, answer, majesty, and the five gift subs again, ethereal. And the resub Connor, cipher, and bits onion. And the tier one writer. Stock isn't necessarily bad. I'm not saying it is, but they're claiming that it used stolen code and assets. A lot of the assets in the game are just actual stock assets used by thousands of games. Many of which we fucking played during, like, bad game night. Like, they're just free assets. Nothing wrong with using them, but they're certainly not Nexon owned, at least not the majority of them from what I've seen. Even right here, most of our assets were purchased from the Unreal Marketplace. Literally, <laughs> a good chunk of it is actual just Unreal assets. I guess they weren't free though, at least not all of them. It looks like they had to pay for some of those assets. Must have had to pay for the pack. But it's not like Nexon owned assets. It's literal just fucking Unreal assets. The resub mats. Gustav, Shimigi, and the Bits Universal. The code, yeah, I couldn't tell you. I, I couldn't tell you about the code. They're, they're claiming it's made from scratch. Nexon's making it seem like some kind of Ocean's Eleven heist movie where they stole the code and stole the assets. I'm more inclined to believe they built it from scratch. Mainly because Nexon is not a trustworthy source for anything whatsoever. In the resub horizon. So 28 girls in a school were hospitalized and possessed by demons after playing with a Ouija board. Where can I find info on that? I guess we'll just try this. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> From the New York Post. 28 girls hospitalized with anxiety after playing with a Ouija board. Nothing says real like it being reported on by the New York Post. According to the outlet, alarm bells went off after the girls reportedly suffered signs of fainting, anxiety, and other symptoms at school. What the fuck? A Jumanji-esque pursuit that uses a sliding pointer to spell out messages in a mysterious way. Brother, it's, it's not mysterious. Wow. Amazing. That's Zozo for you. You always have to remember to say goodbye when you're done with the Ouija board. Otherwise, you let Zozo into our world. And he does not play nice. That's a bad demon. Why are people still convinced Ouija boards actually work? It's just because they want to believe. It, that's the only real reason. It's just the... 
I mean, it's harmless to believe that it works. Well, I guess not harmless with 28 girls fainting like it's an Elvis Presley concert or whatever, but usually it's harmless. I need a tier one place in the resub creepy cool and beefcake. No, bro, it's real. That is always the interesting thing. There are people that actually just swear by it. And if you, you know what, we'll suspend disbelief for a moment. We'll assume none of your friends are, are joking around. It's, I believe the correct term is a psychosomatic response. So in your head, you are wanting it to move. You're expecting it to move. So your body is subconsciously making the decision to start moving it for you, even if it's not you consciously deciding to do it. It's not a real phenomenon. I'm pretty sure it's called a psychosomatic response. Have you tried it? Yeah, I, I've done a Ouija board twice. It was very not fun. It was very boring. I would rather just tell ghost stories as opposed to slowly move around a Ouija board asking boring ass questions. Thanks the resub, Mr. Jin. Why are you so insistent on that it's real and it works? Let's play ball for a moment. If this was a portal to the afterlife, don't you think this would be extensively studied instead of being copyright protected by fucking Hasbro? This is a children's toy. It is literally manufactured by Hasbro. You think they have the portal to the underworld? I think it's Hasbro, right? I'm almost positive. Let me double check. Yeah, Hasbro. Unless they lost the rights over the last couple of years. But it doesn't seem like it. Still just all manufactured by Hasbro. There's the bits kin and resub tomato, humanoid, error, rig, and grooster. The stork, grooster. Imagine dying and have to sit around and talk to 26 girls about who's the cutest in class. <laughs> True. Oh, man. Imagine it is real. Those spirits have to be so fucking upset. They get summoned by 28 schoolgirls about gossip or some shit. Ugh. Thanks for five years, Shadow. I appreciate that. And the bits, Pierre. Mass delusion slash hysteria on a mass scale happens semi-often. The jumping Frenchman of Maine is a good example. Yeah, no, no, yeah, 100%. This, I don't even think is going to be a case of mass hysteria. I legitimate, well, I guess it would be a, almost the textbook definition of it. This would just be literally their class got together, played with the Ouija board, and they all started freaking out collectively. And then after seeing one person freak out, someone else freaks out in this domino effect. So yeah, I guess it is textbook mass hysteria, but... The thing is, it's not a real thing. This isn't a demonic possession of 28 schoolgirls. Psychosomatic responses when you have symptoms that can't be traced back to medical condition. Is it not psychosomatic? I'm almost 100% sure. But it's been a long time since I knew the term for this. Let me double check it. Let's see. What is the term for it? If it's not a psychosomatic response, which one is it? Yep, it looks like it's almost... Yeah, it's it's 100% ideomotor. I was wrong. Not psychosomatic. Ideomotor phenomenon. The body, ref, the body sometimes reacts reflexively with the ideomotor effect to... I, Jesus, how about I just read the whole definition instead of paraphrase? Psychological phenomenon wherein a subject makes motions unconsciously, also called the ideomotor response or ideomotor reflex. 
It's a concept in hypnosis and psychological research. It's derived from the terms ideo and motor, the phrase most commonly used in reference to the process whereby a thought or mental image brings about a seemingly reflexive or automatic muscular reaction, often of a minuscule degree, and potentially outside of the awareness of the subject. Yeah, it was not psychosomatic. Yep, I'm not watching the Police Chase live. I never do. I don't know why you bother to spam that. I literally never... I have not watched a single one live because I'm not going to risk someone getting hurt, getting me in trouble.